let's start with the tower card here, the overall energy. So um, someone, it could be you or it could be your ex, they're going to be going through um, some sort of change, um, something that's going to affect their life and um, stay with them forever. It's going to be challenging and I'm feeling it's going to be in terms of this relationship since it is here for them. Some sort of secret may come up, some sort of issue may come up um, that's life-changing. Uh, so I'm feeling like that's going to be happening. It could be some sort of struggle um, or it could just be something silly like an argument or, or you finding out they're cheated on you or they find out you cheated on them, something like that. Um but someone could be hurt from that or someone is just going to learn a lesson. Um, so it's the tower card is all about lessons coming in for you guys that you need to learn and take with you um, for the rest of your life. So moving on to the past position with the ace of wands and then we have the emperor. So in the past, it looks like your ex was definitely wanting a new beginning with you. They could be a fire sign. Um, they don't have to be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, but it looks like they may have contacted you. They may have reached out to you, hoping for something new, something passionate. Um, and you could have ignored them or you could have declined them, especially with the Emperor here. The Emperor is very stubborn. And like I said, I saw this in the Taurus video in the exact same position for them. So in the past, I'm feeling like people were kind of closed off. They were more stubborn. They were stuck in their ways and they weren't really willing to budge. So if someone did not reach out to you with the Ace of Wands here, I feel like they were wanting to. I feel like they were wanting to figure out kind of what went wrong um, and fix things. But you guys were kind of like, no, I'm not really down for that. And again, the energies could be switched. So if the top row applies to you more, then um, that's for you. Or if a certain card applies to you, then just apply it to your situation because the energies can always get switched. But um, so I did pull a clarifying card for the Emperor and I got the Judgment card. So this is definitely talking about communication. I feel like there may have been some sort of communication that went down or some sort of communication that they put out. And you were like, you know what? I'm not really ready for communication with this person. Like the past is the past. Kind of want to leave in the past. I want to focus on me right now. And I'm not really willing to have some sort of reconciliation with this person. Um, and it could also be that uh, you guys did communicate, but there may have been some sort of harsh words that went on, maybe some sort of conflict or jealousy that happened and it caused even more issues. I feel like that is for um, a small amount of you, but this is all regarding in the past, something with communication and may or may not have happened. And if it didn't happen, um, then it, it may have been on your guys' minds. You may have been wanting communication, but you were too stubborn and were like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to be the one that makes the effort. Um, so moving on to the present position, we have the five of cups and then we have the justice card here. So your ex is definitely hurting right now. They're only focusing on the negatives rather than the positives especially in terms of this relationship. They're only looking back on what happened that was negative. So I am feeling like something in the past there may have been a negative conversation that went on or something something that obviously pissed them off and they're definitely just focusing on that right now. They're having all these negative feelings, they're kind of sulking and I feel like this is honestly making them feel better as well. Um, they could be like complaining to their friends or like posting on social media. Um, about like their hard times and relationships whatnot um, but I feel like this is helping them in some way but they're definitely focusing on the negatives rather than the positives here that are there but it does look like the um, negatives are outweighing the positives but still or maybe they're making it seem that way so um, they're definitely not in a happy mood right now in this new year so that kind of is sad for them um, with the justice card here for you guys, there is some sort of need for balance. You're wanting truth, you're wanting honesty, you're wanting balance, especially in terms of this relationship. So maybe there was dishonesty in the past and you're wanting to kind of settle that or fix that or in general, just hear their point of view and then just move on from them. Um, and maybe you guys were the ones that were dishonest in the past, but you're willing to communicate with them and explain kind of what happened. But in general, you're looking for truth. Um, 
and you could be dealing with an Aries or a, um, a Libra. And I pulled the Four of Swords to clarify the Justice card here. It looks like you do, you obviously are wanting the balance with the scales and truth with the swords. Um, but you're totally okay with waiting forever um, to get this conversation or get this out of your ex. You're okay with meditating. You're okay with putting this out of your mind and waiting for them to make the move because I feel like you're being stubborn still and are not willing to move from where you are right now in terms of communication or whatever you're searching for. Um, you're set in your ways and you're like, if they want to fix things, they can fix things. I'm okay with just sitting here waiting and um, I'm totally content with that. So I feel like they're definitely the ones suffering more than you guys right now. But again, the energies could be switched. But um, Gemini, it looks like you're looking for some sort of balance because I feel like there were some sort of lies that came up in the past or maybe it's coming up right now with the tower card here. Maybe you're finding something out, a secret or something along the lines of that. And um, you're kind of wanting their explanation, but you're okay with waiting for it. Um, and then moving on to the future position, we have the Queen of Swords. Then we have the Nine of Wands. Um, so you could be dealing with a uh, air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. Or it could also be since it is air energy. It could be that in the future your ex is heavily thinking about you with the Queen of Swords here. Or it could also be that your ex is open to communication and is opening to expressing kind of what happened and talking about the truth and being honest with you and upfront. It could be um, not the kindness of words. With all with a lot of these readings I'm feeling, it feels like people are being a little bit harsh with their words. They're not really willing to let their emotions um, get in the way and they're kind of guarded right now. So I feel like everyone is, has kind of learned from that and learn from not letting their guard down. So I feel like in the future, your ex is gonna be okay with um, with communicating and telling the truth. I did pull some clarifying cards, two cards came out and I got the fool and I got the temperance. So obviously they're okay with communicating and they're actually wanting to reconcile with you and fix things. And with the fool card here, like I was saying, they might be kind of harsh with their words and they could be kind of immature with their words um, and let their immaturity get in the way of a serious conversation and they could say stupid things that mess things up again. Um, so just warning you guys on that. Um, but, but it could also be that they're taking a leap of faith in terms of reaching out to you with communication. So um, be expecting this type of communication that's going to be coming in. Um, it could be within January or it could be within the next couple of months that I'm seeing. Um, moving on to your card, the Nine of Wands. This person, your ex, is obviously open to communication, but um, I'm feeling like you may not be. You may be still hurt or you still are completely on guard with this person. You're Maybe you're okay with communicating, but you're not going to be um talking about your emotions or feelings in any way you're going to be on guard completely um and you're just gonna it feels like you're just gonna listen and let them talk um and see if they're going to be telling the truth because it feels like you know something um that they don't know that you know and you're just kind of waiting to see if they will um because right now I feel like there's some something that is going to come up and you're going to be wounded from it with, especially with this card here in the future um, you're going to be wounded from something that you find out or even from something that you say and you're going to be guarded, especially with your emotions. Um, so that is what I'm seeing with you guys. So um, all together, it looks like your ex is kind of going through something hard right now, but in the future, they are going to be willing to communicate with you. You aren't going to be so open, but you are looking for some justice with what has happened. So this card here represents the overall energy of this month of January. These two cards right here represent the past. These represent the present. And then these represent the future. And again, this is all about you guys and um, what you are going through. And then people that are going to be coming in. 
and all that type of stuff. So let's get started. Let's start with the Ace of Pentacles. So with the Ace of Pentacles, it looks like there is going to be some sort of new offer in terms of love that's going to be coming in for you guys soon. Um, or it could have been already offered to you guys. And um, this person is going to be very stable. They're willing to offer you something stable. They're good with their money. Um, they're even willing to help you out with money. But in general, this person is going to be very stable um, within your guys' lives. So moving on to the past position, we have the Two of Pentacles. And then we, we have the Hanged Man here. Um, so with the Two of Pentacles, it looks like in the past you may have been juggling two decisions. Um, you were in between two things. It could have been in between two people, like, or it could be you're in between work and a person. But in general, just these two decisions that, um, were heavily weighing on your mind. And I pulled a clarifying card for that and I got the death card. So you could have been dealing with a Scorpio, um, but it doesn't have to be. But it could also be, these cards will not stay perfect. Ah, okay, but it could also be that you were juggling ending a relationship with someone um, and beginning a new one with someone else or in general just ending something with someone. And it could also be if you weren't in a relationship. It could have been like maybe someone that you were thinking about. You could have been thinking whether or not it's worth continuing something for them with them. Because with this hangman energy, it looks like you were waiting around for things to happen and things to start to progress. And um, and I feel like things were in stagnation and weren't really moving forward. And that was kind of making you juggle between these two things and whether or not you should move on or not. It's kind of what I'm feeling from that. I did pull a clarifying card for the hanged man and I got the judgment card. So you could have been waiting for communication with someone from your past or like from a crush or um, whoever you're dealing with. I feel like you were waiting for this communication, but it wasn't really happening. And um, and that was kind of causing you to have these two decisions, maybe, and you waiting for them to make this communication. You were trying to determine whether or not you should be the one to reach out to them or not. Um but in general, it looks like there was some sort of communication that you guys were waiting for. And if you weren't waiting for any sort of communication, you weren't involved with anyone, you aren't involved with anyone, it could also be that you were kind of waiting for someone to come into your life or someone new to kind of just drop in and, you know, message you in a way or um, for you to meet someone, but I feel like you weren't really making that much effort because you were kind of waiting around for someone to do the effort. And that was kind of putting you in a place where you're juggling things back and forth and having all these thoughts in your head and kind of on the same cycle where nothing is moving forward. That's kind of what I'm seeing in the past for you guys. Um, moving on to the present position, we have the King of Pentacles and then we have the Queen of Cups. So, King of Pentacles is um, Earth energy. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Queen of Cups is um, water energy. Gemini, or not Gemini. <laughs> you guys are Gemini. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So um, with these two cards here, I am feeling like there may be um, someone that is coming in that is very stable for you guys. And they're going to kind of um, treat you as a, as a, as a queen basically, or as a king who are, they're going to be treating you very lavishly. they they have money of some sort. They're very stable. And I feel like they're going to be coming in with that and they're going to be very committed, very emotionally open. And they're not like really the type to cheat or be unfaithful. And it could also be that you may be dealing with two people. One person could be a water sign and then one person can be an earth sign. So two people could be coming in, one that is very stable within materialistic things and one that is very stable within their emotions. So Gemini, I feel like there may be two people coming in or in general, this person is very stable um, with materialistic things, with commitment and with emotions. And it could also be that um, maybe you need to take on the characteristics of one of these people um, in order to invite one of this type of person in. So maybe you need to take on 
this committed type of energy, a very stable energy in order to attract um, a very intuitive, kind, um, emotionally open person and vice versa. Um, but with this two of pentacles here, it could have been someone that you're dealing from uh, from the past is still in your life and then someone new could be coming in. Um, so be open to that as well. So moving on to the future position, we have the nine of wands and then we have the star card here. And um, with the nine of wands, it looks like this person is very defensive. They're on guard. They've been hurt a lot in the past. So this could be your guys' energy. So um, once these, once one of these people come in or once both these people come in or whatever happens with someone coming in, it could, or whoever you're dealing with, it could be that you're kind of defensive and you're still kind of hurt from whatever you went through in the past and you're kind of on guard. And again, this is an overall energy that I've been seeing with all of the videos and all the readings that I've been doing seriously, every single one of them is that all of you guys are on guard and um, not really open to sharing your feelings. And if you're this way, then maybe it's suggesting that you do need to kind of become the queen of cups and be more open with your emotions and um, connect with them on a deeper level in order to avoid you being on guard. Because we have this star card here and the star card represents um, a very deep soul connection with someone. Um, a twin flame or a divine soulmate and they could be coming in but I've literally been seeing this message for almost all of the signs that I've been doing is that if you are guarded then you're going to prevent this person from coming in um, or from this connection to even go anywhere so kind of let let your guard down be okay with um, the fact that you can't control everyone from hurting you. That's just something that sometimes happens. And if you are always like, well, I'm never going to let someone hurt me again, then you're going to prevent this person from coming in. And um, I feel like I feel like they're going to be coming in soon. Um, and it could be one of these people. It could be the King of Pentacles or the Queen of Cups. But if you're being defensive, then this connection is never going to grow with this person. So be careful of that. I did pull a clarifying card for the um, Nine of Wands. I got the Eight of Wands and I got the Wheel of Fortune. So these two cards kind of right here, the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands, especially the Wheel of Fortune talks about there could be an X that comes back in for you guys with some sort of fast communication like over text message or phone call or email. So it could be that an X is coming back in. It could have been this person that you're waiting for to come back in, but you finally moved on because other people have come into your life, but then they come back in once you've moved on and now you're feeling super defensive, you're feeling hurt again, you're having these old memories from what happened in the past and um, you're kind of afraid that you're gonna go back onto this karmic cycle where someone is gonna hurt you again and, um, and there's gonna be no communication. So that's kind of what I'm feeling, so be careful of that. There may be someone, if you are dealing with an ex, they may be coming back in and it could cause you to become this person that is completely hurt and not really willing to be open in terms of um, in terms of things happening or moving forward. And it could be that the ex is toxic, or it could be that the ex is your divine soulmate. But you're kind of afraid because of what happened in the past, where it was everything was stagnant and not moving forward. You could be afraid that. Um, it will happen again, but this time there's a potential for you guys to connect on this soul level. Um, but if you keep being this person, then it's not going to happen. So it could be that your ex is your twin flame or your divine soulmate, or it could also be that they're not and, and you allowing them to come back in or them coming back in is preventing you from meeting this person. So it can go both ways depending on your guys's energy and who you are. So, um, just be careful of that and don't don't let yourself become this person. If you do become this person, then go to the Queen of Wands tendencies or the Queen of Cup tendencies where you're emotionally stable, you're emotionally in tune and you have are able to connect with your intuition. 
um, because this could really prevent something positive from happening.